to my channel. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below before you do leave. As we're getting closer to Halloween, I wanted to do my first Halloween look on my channel. And this is what I have decided to do. It is a very simple skeleton face. I think it is very wearable. So if you guys want to see how I get this look, just keep on watching. Okay, to start off, I have already done this side off of camera and I'm going to show you guys how I did it by doing it on this side. You're going to be doing just the same thing to both sides, so just to speed up the process, I have done this side and I'm going to show you guys on this side. So I have already primed my eyes, I have my foundation on, and I have my eyebrows on. So for this look, I'm going to be using my Jaclyn Hill palette, and the first color that I'm going to grab is Pooter, which is this color right here. And I'm going to use this a little bit higher than my crease, just placing that as my transition shade. And then next, I'm going to be picking up the color Mocha, which is this color right here. I'm placing that lower into my crease. This is just to create the depth of darkness. And once that is done, I'm going to use my Anastasia Lip Palette Volume 1 and just using this black shade right here. It is a cream palette, so that's what I like about this. And I'm just going to use a flat eyeshadow brush, picking up some of that color and putting it just really, really close to my lash line. And then once I have put that down underneath my crease, I'm going to grab this color right here which is Abyss on a big fluffy brush and just blend that right above. And then with the first blending brush that I had used to put Pooter, I am just going to make sure like the ends are very blended. And then now I'm going to go in with my pencil liner. I'm going to be using my Milani Cool Kajal Black Liner and just lining the bottom lash line as well as the top. And then I'm also just grabbing this very fine blending brush and I'm not really picking up any product, I am just like trying to smoke out the, the front of my eyebrows. I'm just using the product that I have on my eyebrows from doing my eyebrows and now I am going to pick up just a little bit of product and make the beginning of my eyebrows more intense. And then I'm going to pick up this angled fluffy brush, picking up this color right here which is Hunts, just very very lightly and just smoking out the edges of that fake smoke. Also grabbing the color Hunts, just smoking out my bottom lash line. So once that is done, I'm just going to grab a pencil liner and lightly just trace where I want the hollows of my cheek to be. And 
That's why it's better to go in with pencil first. That way you can erase any mess ups and make sure that they are both even. So once they are as even as I can make them, going in once again with my Anastasia palette, picking up the black, the black color, which is the color primary two, and just using the brush that it had came with, I'm going to pick up that color and just trace that line that I had made with the pencil liner. And then I'm going to, you see how this side is smoked out? I'm going to do the same thing to this side, just by dragging the black down. And then now I'm going to pick up just that flat eyeshadow brush and just blend that color down. And then picking up some of the color of this once again from the Jaclyn Hill palette, I am just going to intensify the black closer to the line. And just to make sure that the smoke, it's like really blended at the bottom. Once I am done with that, I'm going to grab the color Pluto again and just smoke out the bottom. And then now moving on to the nose, I'm going to pick up my brush once again and with the color black from the Anastasia palette, I am just going to draw my nose shape. And it's basically a V and then it's like half a circle. And then I'm just going to fill that in. And then I'm just going to set it with that black eyeshadow as well. And then for my lashes, I'm going to apply one coat of mascara. I'm going to be using my Clinique Black Mascara. And applying one coat to my top lashes as well as my bottom. Okay, so now I have just applied my falsies. I have used our Dell the 113s, and I have just applied one coat of mascara to those. So now I'm just gonna go in with my concealer. For my concealer, I'm just going to conceal a little bit right underneath my eye. And I am using my L'Oreal Invaluable Pro Glow. I am just brightening up right here in this area. And then I am just going to use my Makeup Revolution Banana Powder. So while that is setting, I'm going to go in and finish my lips. I'm going to be using a nude liquid lipstick. I'm going to be using the Melania More Matte Lip Cream. And this is in the color Stunning. And I am using this one because it dries down to a matte finish and it doesn't budge or it doesn't move. You can use any liquid lipstick that you prefer. And then while that is drying, I am just going to grab a smudger brush 
pick up, picking up the color Abyss, I'm going to intensify really close to the lash line. And then I'm going to grab my Makeup Revolution Ultra Bronzer. And I'm just going to bronze underneath by my neck just to give it a shadow. And then now that my lip is dry, I'm going to go in with the flat side with the flat side of the Anastasia lip brush, picking up the color black again. And I am just dabbing the very ends of it into the black. And now I'm just drawing my fake teeth. And then picking up a little bit of the product, I am going to smudge it on the inner of my mouth. So now wiping away the banana powder. I want this to be somewhat of a glowy skeleton. So I'm going to grab some of my highlighter. And today for highlighter, I'm going to use my Makeup Revolution Shimmer Brick. And just highlight right above that hollowed cheekbone. And then I am also going to place a little bit of highlight on my inner eye. So this is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in my next video.